Today we are going to start the 4AGE turbo build now finally and um, yeah we are just finishing up the hot side today so putting everything on the car that has to do with the hot side and so that I can still drive the car without the cold side hooked up that still has to be done after that but downpipe manifold etc oil lines um, will be already finished and then i just need to do the cold side piping so intercooler intercooler piping and as well as later i will do the uh, fueling or fuel system also but we are now going turbo so i already pulled everything off i already also prepared most of the things so oil lines and stuff so you don't have to watch me build that but i still have to build a uh, downpipe and uh, yeah that's gonna be interesting because well yes i already converted to a half size radiator this coolant flange here uh, is at a very impractical location so we'll have to build around that and see how that will work out maybe i have a flange that fits this so it goes that way but i don't think so so uh yeah i will talk to you about some stuff in the progress but for now just look at me put the turbo and manifold in Okay, so the downpipe is now until basically there. So yeah, we're getting close. We're getting close. I fucked up. I used the wrong because I'm dumb as hell. I used the wrong port. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nope. So the downpipe is done, it's routed down here. Of course I have to insulate this here because otherwise it uh, would probably burn the silicone hoses for the coolant. And then it goes down here. And back to the exhaust. Now it's just tacked up, so I have to weld everything. 
and uh, yeah, then started with the exhaust on. I'm curious on how it sounds, if it is still very loud, like it is NA. I hope it's getting quieter like this, and uh, yeah, then I have to insulate it. As you can see here now, I am building the downpipe. Excuse my welds, they're really not pretty, so I'm not a great welder, but still they work and uh, that's the main goal that all of this should work. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I had to go down to uh, two and a half inch from three inch because the uh, manifold that is that I use is for an, a rear wheel drive application. So it does not fit, fit a front wheel drive application that well, but for front wheel drive, there's only manifolds available that are like four times the price. So this was only the only one viable option. I also wasn't able to um, rotate the turbo in uh, the other direction because then uh, that foot wouldn't fit with the valve cover anymore. So that's also an issue if you were asking that because it looks like that would have fit, but no, it actually doesn't. So yeah, the hot side is in now. This is a bit sketchy right here. I don't have much room for my radiator. It's just crammed in there now. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. And I still have to get some new material to insulate my downpipe fully because I am out of uh, stainless foil. So I have to get that done. And yeah, otherwise it sits pretty good, I'm guessing. But yeah, as you can see, the radiator doesn't have much room. Yeah, I'll see what I can do about that because there is really no and not any more space anywhere else. Um, yeah, I'll have to see about that, as I said. And if that lasts, how that lasts, and uh, how cooling is actually going. And uh, yeah, that will we will see about that, I guess. Yeah, that's about it. 
As I said, I still have to put on the compressor housing also and the intercooler piping as well as the intercooler. And um, yeah, because I still have ITVs on there. So there's not much turboing going on right now. That's it for this video, I guess. Um, well, see you next time then. Bye.